The Rotaract Club of the TCI hosted an open mic poetry night at Las Brisas in Chalk Sound, and Vice President of the Rotaract Club Providencialis, Tirsa Smith, said the event was a success. Well, Rotaract Poetry Night is definitely a night to honor the TI poet, the poets here in the Turks and Caicos, and I think it's awesome that most of them have shown up and the crowd is here. We have a bigger crowd than we had last time, and last time was a great success. So I'm very happy with how it's turning out. It's also a good opportunity for a Rotary family to bond with us Rotaractors and, and fun and, and having a great social, so I'm happy with that so far. Tirsa, also known as the Lady of Essence, was just one of the poets who graced the stage. Some of the other poets were Robert Hausman, Melinda Welch, Sean Dean, and of course the man known as the Illegal Poet, who told News 4 how he felt about the event. Well, Rick po uh, Poetry Night is all about uh, promoting the local poets. You know, This is a chance for our people, our young people in particular too, to come out and express themselves artistically. And it's a pleasure to be a part of this event. This, of course, is the second um, annual event uh, for Poetry uh, Night. And, of course, my second time being here last year was quite a blast. And tonight's event is going to be even better. This event, of course, was done in honor of World Rotaract Week, celebrating the anniversary of the first club, which opened in North Carolina, USA, on March 13, 1968. The week ended with what was known as the Roto Olympics. Members of the Rotaract clubs from all different islands competed in sporting events. President of the Rotaract Club, Akira Mizik, gave details. Today, the Rotaract Club hosted the first annual Roto Olympics, which was an inter-Rotary international competition between the Rotaract Club of Providenciales, the Interact Club of Providenciales, and the Rotary Club of Providenciales. It was a fun-filled day with field events, starting off with an egg and spoon race, a hula hoop competition, then we had a bit of running, a 100 meter dash, a 4x4 relay and ended off with a championship basketball game in which the Rotaract Club were the victors. Tadine Crossman and Akila Hanfield of the Interact Club told News 4 how they enjoyed the event and said a special thank you as well. I like to say that the event was really nice even though we're new interactors, I say it went very well. I thought it was successful to see all the members that came out to participate and offer their support to each group. You want to say anything, Vice? Thank you to the parents for allowing the interactors to support. For WIV4 News, I'm Amanda Miller.